a fine good morning dear learners i'm dr satish vishambal lakde and i'm working as an assistant professor of communication skills in the department of humanities and sciences walchand institute of technology sholapur and i welcome you all for this session on resume writing part 1 dear learners for convenience sake i have divided this session on resume writing into two parts that is resume writing part 1 and resume writing part 2 today we'll be dealing with resume writing part 1 we'll understand what a resume is the basic difference between a resume and a cv and then we'll definitely look at a model resume and then in the next session we'll be dealing with resume writing part 2 so here we go this is the learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to write effective resumes for campus placement interviews or job interviews dear learners a resume is an important document related to your job interview or your career so it is always important to write an effective resume because it is always said that an effective resume makes a first good impression on an interviewer or the interview panel so it's always important that we take a due care to write a good resume which is effective in portraying your profile now today let us understand what a resume is so this is a question for you to think over because this term is not new to you so i request you to pause this video for some time and try to answer this question i would request you to write the answer in your course journal and then resume the video welcome back and now we will try to answer this question that is what is a resume now here's the definition of a resume a resume is a one or two page formal document that job hopefuls submit to hiring managers and employment recruiters as a means of itemizing their work experience educational background and special skills successful resumes entice potential employers to invite applicants to interview for the position so this is the definition in short a resume is a one or two page formal document that you send to employment recruiters for getting a job interview now let us understand the difference between a resume and a cv so every now and then students come across these two terms resume and cv and so it becomes very important for us today to differentiate a resume from a cv so here we go a brit applies with a cv and an american with a resume so this is nothing but it is a cultural difference because language is a part of a culture and a britisher when he applies for a job he applies with a cv and an american when he applies for a job he applies with a resume so in short britishers call this document as a cv and americans call this document as a resume so it's a cultural difference it is what language you are following if you are following british english then it's better you call it as a cv and if you are following american english or american culture or you term it as a resume so it's a cultural difference a cv or a curriculum vitae which means course of life in latin is an in-depth document that can be laid out over two or more pages and it contains a high level of detail about your achievements a great deal more than just a career biography the cv covers your education as well as any other accomplishments like publications awards honors etc the document tends to be organized chronologically and should make it easy to get an overview of an individual's full working career a cv is static and doesn't change for different positions the difference would be in the cover letter so this is all about cv now let us understand 
what a resume is. A resume is a concise document, typically not longer than one page or two pages sometimes, as the intended reader or the HR manager will not dwell on your document for very long. The goal of a resume is to make an individual stand out from the competition. The job seeker should adapt the resume to every position he or she applies for. It is in the applicant's interest to change the resume from one job application to another and to tailor it to the needs of the specific post. A resume doesn't have to be ordered chronologically. It doesn't have to cover your whole career like a CV and is a highly customizable document. So this was about resume. Now let us understand the difference between a resume and a CV. As stated, three major differences between CVs and resumes are the length, the purpose and the layout. A resume is a brief summary of your skills and experience over one or two pages. A CV is a more detailed and can stretch well beyond two pages. The resume will be tailored to each position whereas the CV is static and any changes will be in the cover letter. A CV has a clear chronological order listing the whole career of the individual whereas a resume's information can be shuffled around to best suit the applicant. I would say the main difference between a resume and a CV is that a CV is intended to be a full record of your career history and a resume is a brief targeted list of skills and achievements. Now let us do the revision. So this is the difference between a CV and a resume in short. A CV is long, normally it is more than two pages. A CV covers your entire career and a CV is static. Whereas on the other hand, a resume is short, it is one or two pages. So a resume is not more than one or two pages. For a resume, there is no particular format rule. And as I said earlier, a resume is a highly customizable document. You can change it according to different job requirements. Now let us understand the usage around the world. A resume is the preferred application document in the US and Canada. Americans and Canadians would only use a CV when applying for a job abroad or if searching for an academic or research oriented position. In the UK, Ireland and New Zealand, a CV is used in various contexts. The CV prevails in mainland Europe. In Australia, India and South Africa, the terms resume and CV are used interchangeably. The term resume is used more for jobs in the private sector and CV is more commonplace when applying for public service positions. And as I said, normally in India, people write a CV when they are applying for an academic position. Now let us look at a model resume. This resume is of Naman Jain. He is from Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering from Walchan Institute of Technology, Sholapur. He used this resume for his job interview for Infosys Limited and is selected for Infosys. So let us have a look at it. Now this is the resume, now as you can see this is a one page document. So this is a one page short document. At the top you can see the name in bold, then his uh, branch or stream that is electronics and telecommunication engineering and then he has stated his career objective, then the academic details. So the academic details are listed in the reverse chronological order starting with B, then uh, T, S, E and F, E, then his H, S, C and then his S, S, C that is 10th. Then personal details and then contact details. He has also mentioned his LinkedIn profile here. Then he has mentioned skills. He has divided the skills into two parts, technical skills and soft skills. 
then about the project. So as mentioned, his third year project. Then he has mentioned about his internship. And then about the certifications. In the end, he has mentioned about his achievements and activities. And as you can see, he has uh, highlighted the keywords because this becomes easy for the HR manager to glance through. So this is a one page resume written by a fresher while applying for a job in the IT sector. So this was about a model resume. So these are the references for this particular work. I wish you a very happy learning. Thank you very much.